GH or general hardness, measures the amount of calcium and magnesium ions in the water. These ions are important to have healthy fish, shrimp and plants in your aquarium tank. As seen before in the KH, the GH is measured using degrees of GH or DGH. It can also be measured in parts per million or ppm. For freshwater you would target a GH between 4 and 8 DGH, or 72 to 144 parts per million, but you need to double check versus the fish that you will keep, because some fish will require higher GH, for example live bearers, like guppy, platy, molly, and swordtail will love to have higher GH, and in this case you will have a lot of baby fries in the tank, if you provide them with all the necessary conditions for breeding, while other fish like the discus for example like soft water, and in this case you should target 3 DGH, or around 50 parts per million. To test the GH, you can use multipurpose test strips like the ones provided by API, which measures pH, GH, KH, nitrite and nitrate. If you are facing a slow growth fish, incomplete shrimp molting, or plants deficiencies, then the two parameters that you need to check would be the GH and the KH, and there are several products as seen in the previous videos that you can use to increase the GH and KH. There are also products that you can use to reduce them. One note regarding the GH is that you need to remember that GH measures both calcium and magnesium in the water, so in some cases the magnesium level might be high, while the calcium level is low, and in such cases, you will also suffer from low fish and plants growth and incomplete molting of the shrimp external skeleton. In such cases there are calcium tests that you can use like the one in the picture. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the small bell for the notifications, and while you are here check out these other videos.